welcome back. Oop, here we go. To another episode of Harvester. I am your host, Euclidean Mind, and I'm joined by Boo. Hello. Hello. Okay. Nothing new. Young man, we really have nothing to say to each other. Okay. I'd say it's been a pleasure. Yeah, 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 we got a Mr. Point of Hand. Fine bone china gleam split mahogany shelves. Oh, I see some of Did see some. There's a glow of light from behind the cabinet. There's a glow of light from behind the cabinet. Uh, uh, oh! <laughs> oh! Ho ho ho! Sneaky! Turn off the alarm system. What? I turn off the alarm system. <laughs> Hello, dear. How are you? By the way, I spoke with Mr. Johnson and he's livid. Seems someone scratched up his priceless Tucker. If he finds out who, they'll be heck to pay. Congratulations, hero. You found Karen after all. You don't seem proud, Mother. I wonder why. I warned you not to waste time looking for her. Am I running out of time? The blood drive is coming soon. What does that have to do with anything? If you haven't joined the lodge by then, you'll find out. Still, I'm glad you found the poor baby. She says Mr. Potsdam was responsible for... What happened to her? What a silly little girl. Shame on you. Imagine accusing your future father-in-law of a thing like that. Is that how a range rider would behave? I don't think so. Why would she lie? Okay, Weisenheimer. Even if he is a child molester, a kidnapper, and an attempted murderer, that's no reflection on what kind of father-in-law he'll be. I just can't wait for the wedding. Can you? Uh. Don't forget to put the papers out for Jimmy. You know how he gets. Fuck Jimmy. He's starting to become a little pain in the ass. What do you want? I hear him at night, thrashing and moaning. I crawl out my window and see Mom's shadow on the shade. Pot holders on her hands, reaching for him. How can she do the stitches on him wearing those? Wouldn't she slip? Don't be silly. She wouldn't do that. Of course she'd slip. Maybe that's why he's not getting better. Hey, it's too bad they don't give scout badges for digging up buried kids. I like to see what that badge would look like. I went over to ask her what it was like. 
being buried alive and all. But she just stared at me and twitched and drew up. <laughs> I guess I got my answer. Huh. Uh. Good. Finally. <laughs> Well, that didn't work. Huh. Well, that didn't work. Did what? Hmm. Oh, hold on. That didn't work. Oh man. Well that didn't work. Well that didn't oh, work. Man. Well that didn't okay. work. Okay. Something I gotta be missing here. Damn it. Well that didn't work. Okay. 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 Oh man. There are security bars fastened. Phillips had screws. Oh. Check it out, Boo. I think we're making progress. Wee. <laughs> Wee. <laughs> oh. What? 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 Um. What? What? I'm. What? I, I don't even. What? A screenshot from the movie, Rosy Palm Meets Rosy Cheeks. This photograph is in a constant torture. Is a constant torture for poor old dad. Sex toys? Exotic kinky love equipment? No, leave that there. If any of it turns out missing. Marv, what's going on in there? Go! Go! No! Go! God. Come on, Dad. I'm just checking stuff out. I gotta find out sooner or later. Cow. Okay, is there a way I can help him? No. Oh, I didn't mean to click on it! Go. No! <laughs> Sheesh. Steve, is that you? Come to see your poor old dad. Are you my father? Really? I don't remember you. Please. I'm not in the mood for jokes. I'm serious. Why won't anyone believe me? Well, you always were a kidder, Steve. Just don't make me laugh now. Remember the stitches. My God. What has she done to you? She doesn't know you're here, does she? 
Does she? No, I had to break in. What the hell is going on in here? I know it's a mystery to you. The sacred things that husbands and wives do behind closed doors. Maybe we should have that special father-son talk. Especially now that we're getting married. Uh, maybe. Maybe you know something I need to know. Then listen. I can't talk very loud. It's the tracheotomy. When a man and a woman love each other very much, they go into a room alone and shut the door and bolt it with at least three locks. Tracheotomy? Under the doorknob. Hold on. So no one can get in or out. Then they take off their clothes and get out a wide variety of scalpels. Some curved, some short, all of them sharp. And then the man climbs on the woman. And then the... With the barbed wire, they... It's all right. Don't get worked up. You need your rest. Yes. Rest. But why did you come? You must have had a reason. For risking it. I need some meat. And Pat won't give me any without your signed permission. Good old dependable Pat. Here, son. Here's my signature. Take it to him. And you won't have any problem. Now go, son. Go quickly. Before she comes back. Do we have any questions we want to ask before we go? Meet? This is no time to talk gibberish. Lodge? That's what I wanted to warn you about. The Lodge, Steve. It's imperative that you join the Order of the Harvest Moon. Only by becoming one with Harvest can you escape. That doesn't make any sense. I should join this Lodge. To escape it? That's the only reason you're here, and that's the only way you'll leave. Get an application at the post office, take it to the sergeant at arms, do what he tells you, and join them. Otherwise, you'll wind up worse than me. And son, if you haven't joined by midnight Sunday, you're too late. Even now the scythe is reaping. Go. Go. Okay. Uh, what do you know about Stephanie? This is no time to talk. Amnesia? This is no time to talk, Jim. Okay. Did he actually sign it? Sign permission slip. So, your father okayed the meet, huh? How's he doing? Good, good. Glad to hear it. Here's your meat, son. You run along now. A new shipment of animals has come in, and it's time to start cutting. Okay, we got meat. It's a horrible night to have a curse.
guessing this is how I steal the bolts of cloth. Cloth. Do I have bolts of cloth? Jeez, what are you doing here? Just standing here, waiting to be drawn. You just hang out here all the time. I'm not a person, Steve. I'm an object. You do well to remember that. A person is his job. Someday you'll understand that. And if you don't, it won't matter, because you'll be dead. Dead? Have you gotten your lodge application in yet? Good. You may survive yet. I guess you're here to steal the bolt. Not at all. That's not my job. However, since I am an object dart, and since art should be interpreted, I'll give you a clue as to where the bolt is located. Darkness gives as darkness gets, but light in bolt is light shed. All right. Wall lamp. Get a bolt of cloth. Boy, he said all right, but I don't see the bolts of cloth. <laughs> Mauve cloth, we got it. And we hate Hank. Okay, so we used the ladder. Ladder's not gone, so it may still have a use. We got the permission slip, we got it signed, we talked to Dad. Uh, we got meat, we used the meat. <clears throat> Don't know if the barber pole's used for yet. Don't have a, a way to really get it. Okay. Save real quick. Jimmy, jeez, Here's your paper. Let me alone. Hey, Steve. You Can't do anything with pots, damn, nothing to do with the post office, can't do anything with that yet, nothing to do over there, blah blah blah. Good, 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 good. Okay. I think we're ready to come back to the lodge. Yes. 
Masonry looks as though it may be from the Dark Ages. Probably is. Okay. <clears throat> Nightfall. So I guess they're cutting straight to the chase of this one. I think we can get in through the window here. Well, that didn't work. Damn it. Well, that didn't work. Damn it. Okay, guess we're going through the door. It's not how exactly a professional would break in. Oh man. Well, that didn't work. Well, that didn't work. Sure, I can't use the ladder on it. Okay. There's something I'm missing here. Well, that didn't work. Okay. Oh, man. Well, that didn't work. Damn it. Okay. Oh, man. Damn it. Well, that didn't work. Well, that didn't work. Oh, man. Okay. How are we supposed to get in here? Okay. I bet I'm missing the obvious, ain't I, Boo? Getting into there. Let's see. You have tape, right? Yeah. Have you tried giving it the old, you know, foot key? No, I mean the barbershop. Have you have you tried giving the tried giving the barbershop the old foot key? What? Try it. What? Try the tape. Try the tape. Okay. Okay. So, um, a question. Hmm. Oh man. What's like a sword? Oh, Relax. Never mind. There you go. Voila! Save. Uh, 
Uh, that's why I said save. Because, okay. You okay. want to go back and do that. What did he tell you not to touch last time? The barber pole. No, besides the barber pole that you were looking around and expecting. The light. Yes. You pay attention quite a bit. Oh, because it's all tied into the same security system. Yeah. <laughs> Bingo. That's weird. I mean, it's digital, so you don't have the change of disk. Scram, kid. Hey, Steve. I don't give a shot. Because mistakes were made. They're still out. Quick save. Man was electrocuted. One sec. Oh boy. There's got to be a way. If I set fire to that place, there's got to be a way that I can get Edna and Karen out of there. Bye bye. Sadly, it may be bye bye. I can't talk now. The dish. I've whipped up a huge batch of brownies for the PTA bake sale tonight. I just wish I could do more to help out those poor bums. Hmm, how does the sale help bums or what time is the bake sale? What do you think, Boo? Hmm. 
Ask her how it will. Most of the bums that die in harvest lack the money for Ask a good number Christian one. burial. Okay. The proceeds from this sale will help Mr. Moynihan provide them with proper burial services. Doesn't it strike you as funny that so many wanderers die in harvest? No. It strikes me as sad. You have an odd sense of humor, Steve. Mr. Pastorelli was electrocuted. He's dead. It looks like some thief wanted his barber's pole, but didn't think of the consequences. Maybe it's what the guy had to do. Maybe whoever it was really needed that barber's pole bad. That's no excuse for hurting someone else. Even if Pastorelli were alive now, his heart would be broken. And what's a little profit compared to that? I feel terrible about what happened at the fire station. Those firemen helped me decorate my diner. I can't believe one of them stole that cloth from the others. It must have been someone else, don't you think? Sorry, I missed that. Okay. I can't talk now. Sorry, I missed that. Too Sorry, I missed. Sorry, I missed. God, I'm spelled hungry. Sorry, I missed that. Order? Sorry, I missed that. Food? Sorry, I missed. I can't. Sorry, I missed. Okay. So she won't let us behind the counter. Chief was not at the. Let's go ahead and save. He was not at Edna's. Boy, the way you keep pest. I'm nowhere near solving the Tucker case, and now I have to deal with a bunch of firemen throwing a hissy fit over some stolen cloth. Can you imagine? What the heck is going on around here? Looks like we've got us a mini crime wave on our hands. Just got a report about another act of vandalism. Maybe related to the Tucker incident and the fire station robbery. Someone broke into Pastorelli's barbershop and took his pole. Next morning, Pastorelli touched some live electrical wires that were left dangling and zap. No more barber. What was just an act of vandalism has just become a case of manslaughter. I don't like it. Harvest used to be such a nice little town. Stop on by. What's sorry? Everybody's so darn happy about that darn baked sale. Mrs. Loomis will be there, but the sheriff always says I'm half baked. My so ass. I reckon I've got no time. business going. I know, right? Any time, kiddo.
Young man, we really... I do. Sure. And all they have to do to benefit is die. A ditch makes a poor resting place. You'll need to learn that. If you ever want to leave Harvest. You make it sound like I have a choice. A choice that is rapidly vanishing. Join the Lodge, Stephen, while you may. I'd say it's been a... Hmm. I think I maybe something there. Well, she's gonna be here too. Double check this. Nothing. Young man lies motionless in the casket. Red stains are visible on his shirt and boots. Wait a minute, we didn't get a good shot. Come on. Young man, we really... It seems that, like some elephant's graveyard, people of low station come to harvest to die. They simply drop dead, penniless, and they all need burials. Like that corpse in the chapel, all dressed up and nowhere to go. No mourners, no point. But I still must provide them with prompt burials by town charter, and absorb the losses myself. God knows, by putting these people up at the Wayward Hotel, I do more than my fair share. So why must I pay for the coffins and burial materials as well? My losses to the dead are... The corpse reclining in the chapel right now is a prime example of the difficulties I face. For unfathomable reasons, this bum decided to wander into harvest and summarily drop dead. Just like that? Indeed. He died of purely natural causes. Of that I have no doubt. But why come to Harvest to die? You say this happens often. Isn't that a little too much of a coincidence? I've often puzzled over the situation myself. Though I can assure you, young man, that nothing untoward is happening in Harvest. On the contrary, it's an indication of our compassion that I put up hobos in the Wayward Hotel. And the Order of the Harvest Moon mandates their prompt burial, even when they are without family or means, and when it entails losses on my part. Alright. So maybe this is all adding up to something that's going to help me figure out what I need to do to I'd set, say it's been a pl set fire to DNAs. You can't have that, Stephen. I need it for my work. And may I I was only going to borrow it. Indeed. And have you anything I could hold as security? About the fact that you lied to me about that corpse in the other room. John Doe? I'm sure I don't know what you mean. If he just dropped dead, where did all those slashes come from? I don't know what slashes you're referring to. They were there. Do you have any proof of these wild claims? Any tangible evidence? If not, I'd say it's. I don't know. We got a camera. Good thinking, Moynihan. I wasn't smart enough to take the picture myself, but now you figured yourself. Mistakes were made. Alright, Jim, let's go ahead and show him the picture. Ah, you've taken up photography, I see. 
Now why on earth would you choose such a grotesque subject? That John Doe you got boxed up in the chapel? He didn't just drop dead. Someone helped him take the plunge. Hmm. You may be right. I'm a mortician, not a medical examiner. You don't have to be to know that being ripped to shreds can be detrimental to your health. This is not something you want to be looking into, young man. That's what we all want. What game are you people playing? A game we win or lose together. Look, are you going to tell me what I want to know, or do I go to the sheriff with these pictures? That would be a grave mistake, I assure you. I've told you all I can. My losses have been substantial of late, so I can't offer you money. The only thing I can give you in exchange for the photographs is my tube of astro glue. I do suggest you take it, or it's all you'll get from me. A wise decision. When a wasp's nest is stirred up, it is seldom the wasps who grieve later. Oh, am I going to see the wasp lady soon? Okay, it's been another episode of Harvester. Till next time, I'm your host, Euclidean Mind, and I was joined by Boo. Hey. All right, everybody. Bye bye. Say goodbye, Boo. Bye. And once again, go for the eyes. Woo!